Hello everyone. Welcome back in today's session on Informatic MDM Raw Tables. So in today's session we will see during which process the raw tables get created, how the raw table get populated and when the data from the raw table get deleted. So, so in, in order to know during which process the raw table get created, we have to go through this schema model. So we know that there are a couple of tables like the base object table, landing table. So whenever you create a, a staging table for a particular table, a raw table is created. Raw table is supporting table which is get created during configuration of stage table. So during the stage table, there are other tables also get created like PRL table, reject table and the stage table. So along with the VRL table, stage table, reject table, the raw table is also get created. So let's see the one example. So we'll create one sample table. So I'm giving the name as Tim table. So this is the physical name C underscore Tim table. So this is bio table. That is base object table. So once base object table is created, we will add some columns to that. I will add one column only for the demo. Test one. It could be a sample one or we can have one more test two. So this is column you can use any any column name. I will save this. Now we will create it's a staging table. In order to create the staging table, we know that staging table is a subset of base object table. So we have to go to the st staging table section, right click, right click on the staging table, add staging table, give the name like STG tem table. The name of staging table will be C underscore STG temp table. You can use any source system for now. I'm selecting the CRM system. Table space. I will select the, the columns from the base object. And click OK. So now the table will be created. Okay. So if you see the column, the setting section is not enabled. So which will determine the um, which will determine the what are the uh, raw what are the uh, raw column how retention will be used so in order to enable that we have to do some some other we have to enable some other properties also so what we'll do we'll create the landing table as well for that theme lnd theme this is the landing table and click OK. After this creation, if, if you say the contains full data set, we have enabled that and we have saved. So let's create mapping. Go to the mapping section. Right click on the add mapping. I'll create mapping then. We have to choose the tables. Landing table will be the LND temp. Staging will be STG temp table. Click OK. So this will create one mapping. You can see the mapping details. Just do the mapping in the mapping diagram. So in the landing table, we don't have column, but we are just to do for sake now update it only save it and let's go back into the schema staging table 
and now the setting will be enabled. So you have to configure the landing table and the mapping. Then if you if the landing table if the landing tables contains full data set is enabled and if you have created the mapping then and then only you can see the table with the enable the setting. Now into the setting you have to go. So there are two options. Preserve and audit trail in the raw table. So that means if you enable this the raw table will be get created. So what these other fields loads and the hours. So you can maintain the raw table. Raw table nothing but the history of the records. So you can maintain the history of the previous few runs like the two runs or the three runs. If you want to maintain the history of the three runs you can mention as a three or if you want to ma maintain the history of Hello, one, one month the on then the in that case if you want to maintain the like f a record for the one month or the two month you can mention here okay so we will what we'll do we'll mention the uh, instead of mentioning month we'll mention number of loads like the three previous road we will maintain the re record of the free three base road and, and we will save this so we have created bo table we have created staging table we have created landing table we also create the mapping now when we create or when we enable this property the raw table is get created we can't see here the raw table in order to see the raw table we have to go to the database log into the database so i already logged in then go to the tables and we know that it is a staging staging level table so it should be CSTG so we got the CSTG table time table so this is the staging table along with that there will be other table like OPL table PRL table raw table and the reject table so this is the raw table one which we are going to discuss in today's session. The raw table have the columns like the raw ID, raw ID job, online indicator, PQ source object, version sequence and the last update date. If you have any other business column that will be available here. So make sure the important columns are raw ID object, PQ source. The other columns are also important but the major are the raw ID jobs and the PQ source. So let's see in today's session little more about this raw table. Okay. So we understand when the raw table is get created. So let's see. Uh, so this is the simple diagram where we are showing. So during which process the raw table get created. So we have the source system from where we are pushing the records into the MDM. So the left side of this bar is source system where from where we the data get produced and it is pushed to the MDM. The right side is the MDM processes. We have the landing table, staging table and the BO table. So at the staging table, the couple of tables get created. Out of that, one is reject table, second is a raw table. So this raw table we are going to discuss in today's session. The raw table is get populated from the data during the stage job. The data is during the stage job data is pushed into the staging table first. If you have enabled the previous data loads that is a raw raw table. If you enable the previous uh, tra uh, uh, the, if you enable the audit trail that is the raw table get populated after the populating the staging table. So the record is, will be pushed from the landing to raw table. The reject table will be populated if the record get rejected during the stage job. So what is the raw table? Raw table is used to retain the history of data. It is also called as an audit table. So it will be used to audit the records. Audit trail is based on the either number of loads or the retention period configured. If you remember in the MDM hub we have the two configuration. One is number of loads and the retention period. Number of loads means suppose we run the stage job two times and if you want to maintain the record of the two runs like the first as well as the second. 
then we have to mention this load job but if you want to return the data for the particular duration like for the one month two month or for the one quarter or for the one year so you can mention in this parameter so these are the two types of the configuration so this is what it is mentioned the audit trail is based on the either number of loads or the retention period configured by default audit trails are not enabled so we know that the setting tab is disabled so that means it is not by default enabled in order to enable we have to manually go to the setting and we have to enable that this audit trail is useful uh, for example when you are when you are going to use a hard delete detection that is hdd hard delete detection nothing but the deleting the data in the source system itself like here in the first load the customer will have the 10 records which will be pushed properly when the second time when the data data will be pushed the system have suppose nine records that means one record is deleted so in order to determine the deleted record the raw table will be help or that will be the used so so we, in the next session we will see what is hard delay detection or you uh, you can see my the other videos about the hard delay detection which will explain you how the raw table is used to determine the uh, hard delay detection now let's go and uh, see the next points about the raw table so we know that the raw table is get created during stage process and it is based on the number of loads or the retention period and it is used during the hard delete detection when the raw table data get deleted so that this is very important thing you should know so we know that the raw table is get created during the stage process and it is loaded during the lo when you run the stage job but during which phase or during which time it the data will get deleted <clears throat> now suppose a use case suppose you can configure the audit trail for the two loads okay so in this MDM hub suppose you have mentioned instead of three loads you have mentioned two loads so that means after two loads data should get deleted so that should happen so that is conceptually it is described here if the stage job run multiple times then the data in the raw table will be written for the most written two sets based on the row id job so we saw that row id job is one of the column in the raw table so it will maintain the row, uh, row id job job id actually for example if i run the uh, stage job first the row id job will be the one if i run the second the value will be two like that so those maintain how many jobs will uh, you have run and out of that it will maintain suppose you have configured the number of job a uh, number of loads for the two so it will maintain the record of only the only for those two job the, the other job data will be get truncated so this is the way one of the way so if the stage job is run multiple times then the data in the raw table will be retained for the most recent two sets based on the raw id job data for the other raw id job id will be deleted so this is one of the factor which is come for for deleting the record so, so how the record will be deleted from the raw table it is based on the row id job suppose the uh, here is actual example is given suppose the value of the row id job is when the for the first time stage job run the value is one for the second time job run uh, the value is two and so on like the three four five so when you run the stage job a third time okay when you run the stage job at the third time the record in the raw table will be get get deleted and those record will be having association with the row id uh, row id underscore job equal to one so all the record row with the row id underscore job equal to one those will be get deleted from the raw table so this is the nothing but the example of the how the uh, data get deleted from the raw table so this is one case so let's see the other case so we know that we run the job in the informatic mdm tool by going into the mdm uh, utility section so let's go into the utility section okay for now i'm not saving so 
if you are going to batch viewer and for particular for the time course select and if you have the button clear history okay so that is very um, important button and i would not recommend do not clear mail if you don't want to delete the record from the raw table or the reject table or the parallel table so actually if you use that button then the audit trail if, and if you enable the audit trail of course and if you use that clear history button then the record will be deleted from the raw table and the reject table so make sure you have effectively using that clear history button so these are the two ways by which the history table will be get uh, uh, the raw table will be get uh, truncated or the raw table data will be get deleted so these these are the details about the raw table if you have any questions about the raw table or any other ta table into the informatica mdm you can mention in the video below and if you like this video don't forget to hit the like button you can also subscribe for this video channel so that i can provide you more details about the informatica mdm tools thanks for the watching the video and have a nice time